Of all the places you can travel, one of the most mysterious and exciting is all around us. The oceans contain huge untapped resources of food, minerals and energy, and are home to many species of life vital to the ecological balance of the world. The oceans cover 70% of the Earth's surface, but still remain largely unexplored. They may well provide the key to the survival of our planet. The engineering achievements that have made the gas and oil extraction industry such a success are quite staggering, and the engineering challenges are still there. What attracted me to the industry first was the sheer scale of the offshore platforms that are involved. Some of the platforms weigh anything up to about 30,000 tonnes, which is a difficult figure to try and comprehend, but the sheer scale of these things when you get close up to one is incredible. Also, I get to work with remotely operated vehicles or maybe with divers. Remotely operated vehicles are underwater swimming robots that have propellers on the back and lights and cameras on the front, and we can send a, an ROV down underwater and I can watch the video pictures on a screen and it's the next best thing to be in there without actually being a diver myself. Alternatively, I could be doing the job abseiling, doing some topside structural inspection. Now this will involve maybe abseiling off the top of a crane or off a flare boom with a team of technicians and we'll be checking all the welds on the structure to make sure that there's no damaging cracks and everything that appears to be in good condition. There are many places around the world where they are just opening up to oil and gas exploration and there will be a lot of travel. Because the fact that Britain was one of the first countries to produce oil and gas, we, also, we already have a lot of experience in this country. That experience, I'm sure, will undoubtedly be required at other places in the world.